Well, it does look like something. That is a bird. Huh. Interesting. I have not seen my sister in days. A great serpent. I pray nothing has happened to her. Could could be. That's where all the houses and stuff used to be. Maybe we could find some things down there. That's dangerous, Ivali. We would break our necks just getting down there. Well, I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. Alana's in a bad mood and he always ruins it. I do not! Uh. Hi, I'm Mila. I'm Ivali! And I'm Alana. We're bored. Bored! Yeah, and our parents won't play with us. Uh, I mean, Alana and I's parents. Mila doesn't have parents anymore. Okay. Ivali! Oh, sorry, Mila. It's okay, really. I've been trying to keep these two entertained, but I guess I'm not doing the best job. Would you like to play a game of hide and seek with us? Please, please! It's no fun playing with just these two. They always pick the same places to hide. Great! How fun! Now, just wait here a bit so we have a chance to hide. Count down from ten or something. You'll never find us. Okay, let's let's play with the kids. And now Since <laughs> star stuff. Okay, somebody went inside. It is morbid, disgusting. You should be hanging your head in shame. But instead, here you are, acting like a common fool. Borhal, calm down. Do not do this here. How shameful of you to have these outbursts. Oh my, what would poor mother and father think? You will speak not of mother and father, you sloughing bastard. No shame. No shame at all. What a waste of good life that they worked tirelessly to give you. What? What do you want? <laughs> Seems your outburst has attracted some outside attention, brother. If it was an audience, you brother, would... okay. Oh, you have it now. <sighs> Please accept my apologies. I caught my brother attempting to do something unspeakable. And I could not contain my anger. Oh yes, go on. Invite a total stranger into our family squabbles. This is no squabble, you pompous fool. What you have done today is abhorrent. I can forgive stealing my money or pawning my valuables. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still within. I have done many things I am not proud of. I have never stooped as low as that. I was drunk. I did not know. All of those vases appeared the same. <laughs> it is an urn, not a vase, you ignoramus. And you were the one who chose it when Mother passed away. Oops. I am tired of your shamelessness. And I am done bearing what should be your indignity. Do you hear me? I am done. You have gone too far this time, Amir. And I cannot bear the humiliation of being your brother any longer. I challenge you to a duel. Danica shall be my second. What? Are you mad? Borhal, are... are you sure? 
There is already so much death in the city. What good would this do? There has to be another way. Too late, Danica. He has issued his challenge. Oh no, I need to I accept. fight. I, in fact, look forward to it. You. You shall be my second. No! <laughs> why, why me? Oh, why not you? You seem capable and trustworthy. The true answer is because Amila has no one, family or otherwise, willing to be his second. He has burned every bridge there is to burn. He will have to resort to picking someone off the street regardless, so it may as well be you. I do not want to wait any longer than necessary. If you agree to this, you will allow us to come to an immediate resolution. I will pay you handsomely for that. Okay. And it is settled. Outsider, you will work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. As for you, Amila, enjoy these last few moments. For when we next meet, your shameful life ends. Okay, so it's, it's to the death. <laughs> Oh no. That sounds so confident, brother. Greetings. Their family home is this way. It is not far. We can discuss the matters there. Okay. You will be working with me. As seconds, it is our duty to prepare for the duel and ensure fairness. I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation. But know that you are doing Amila a great favor. He truly has no one else who would be willing to do this for him. He has burned every bridge imaginable. I see why it seems that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassment, Borhal has reached the boiling point. But still, to challenge your brother to a duel. I even when I see it with my own eyes, it is still hard to believe. Before it's too late. Salutations. I got you your favorite from the meat box. Just the way you like. You want to read it now? Interesting buildings. Kitchen or shall we begin our duties? Are you ready to discuss our rules? Okay. It is our duty to prepare for the duel by procuring weapons and preparing for any ceremonies, as well as ensuring a fair fight. Importantly, we are not expected to engage in any combat, unless, of course, we are staving off an ambush. Uh, okay. In short, we are to guarantee that the duel proceeds without issue. Very good. Let us begin. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons, and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? Hmm. I will note your concern, but know that Borhol has the final say. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. Before that, though... I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got pulled into this. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem. Should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off? Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Borhol and stop this duel before it commences. Okay. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. Duels were quite common a hundred years ago, but have become more rare with each passing generation. 
At this point, the Odlum family is the only one that still takes part in this custom. Okay. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. We will discuss your secondary duty then. Okay, what's my secondary? Okay, this is the kitchen. Cooking station. Something for personal use or for sale? Interesting. Oh, the shaders are pretty good now. Herald's Rest, okay. Fast travel location, apparently. At Lem House. Well, let's look around, shall we? Okay, so this is a. Uh, exotic. Ooh, decoration, exotic. Modern art. The house altar or something. That looks like a, some Cthulhu monster. Apparently, darts is uh, still, a, still a thing. Dumbbell. Great serpent, give me the strength to do what must be. Okay, it's all about inheritance. Rescue axe, okay. Better knife. Let's let's be sneaky again. This doesn't work. None of these works ex except these ones. Doesn't make any sense.
these mud mud feet. And at least a uh, two pair here. Bashing negotiator. Okay, so that's a grenade launcher. Double damage when gun bashing. Okay, interesting. Hard target. <laughs> yeah, she she has that cloak. Apparently, you can build a proper. Uh, sneaky, sneaky character in this game, but it's it's not as easy as in, let's say, in Skyrim, for example. Skiffy Sour. So we need to find the drunkard and, and the gates and save the world. And space. So that's that's about it. Saint Star stuff, that's it, that's pretty okay. Here, here he is. There was never a time when I was old enough huh? to be Look allowed to drink alcohol here. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. The answer is no. The duel shall go forward as planned. Why are you so sure that I will die? I have been in plenty of scraps on the streets, and I am not some sheltered pushover like my brother. They're trying to prove, like Borhal has done to me. No, he you hasn't. You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. And now he wants to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. Ah, oh, fine. But do try to be brief. I would prefer to be alone so that I may enjoy what could very well be my final moments alive. What the left in this divide? Okay. Terrified. <laughs> okay. I do not know. Perhaps him challenging me to a duel has something to do with it. Do 
Do I have something to apologize for? <laughs> I'm not getting into that with you. Ugh, fine. Yes. Correct. You are my second, not my acquaintance. I do not wish to speak of these things with you. Okay, persuade. Nice. So you don't know if you can use the skills even if you use the powers. Just <laughs> the damn questions. My wife. Okay. Just answer the damn questions, or I will make you answer. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Fine. Ask your questions again. And uh, fun. <laughs> okay, so he's going to give like a different answer. I had a wife once. I'm not going to flatter myself and pretend that I was a good husband, but I loved her, and she loved me, appreciated me, faults and all. I, I never felt like I had to prove anything to her. When I say to you that she was my world, my everything, <laughs> I am serious. She was. She was perfect. And somehow, she loved something like me. It was like living in a dream every day. Nearly a decade ago, okay. she and I shared a perfect night. In what I had believed would be a lifetime of perfect nights. But when I kissed her cheek in the morning, my lips froze. She was cold, stone cold, after my beloved's death. I made one bad decision after another. To Borhal's credit, he was almost always there for me. He even paid for the funeral expenses. But he could not stop me from taking to the bottle, no matter how hard he tried. Eventually, he gave up on me. <laughs> My own brother. His love and understanding has been replaced with scolding. <clears throat> I am truly alone. If it were Borhal in my stead, I would forgive him, like a brother is supposed to do. Family is family. We are supposed to be there for each other, no matter what. I would never have deigned to challenge him to a duel. He cares more about respect, the family name, honor, everything, except for me. <sighs> yes, to a point. He would beg them to stop and volunteer to take some blows for me, but one day I could not take it anymore. I wanted to run to the guards, tell them how my parents would hit me, starve me. Borhal talked me out of it. He said that mother and father would find out and the beatings would only get worse. I listened to him and on and on it went. I do not know. Ask him. I loved my parents too, you know. And what hurt most, more than any beating, was knowing they did not love me. Great serpent. I wish I got the chance to sell my mother's urn. Serves her right. B 
because I am furious! My own brother, I just... I cannot make sense of it! Who would challenge their own flesh and blood to a duel? Damn him! Damn him for putting me in this position! Damn him because I know even if I were to apologize, ending this duel before it starts, I will always see someone who would rather me dead when I look at his face! Look at me. Really look at me. Do I appear to be someone that has much to live for? If I die, I die. Nothing to be scared of. Except giving Borhal the satisfaction of taking my life. I suppose the thought has crossed my mind. Maybe it would be better to be dead. I could be with my wife. Well, if the Great Serpent would let me be with her, we, we are never the most devout in Dasra. I am not sure that I want to die, but there really is not much to live for, is there? But I am not just going to let Borhal end me. I cannot give him that satisfaction. Thank you. But no amount of condolences will bring her back. Hmm. So this is a bar. Some cosa to lift your spirits? This is what I have. Cosa. Goat milk. Seaweed and croat milk. Okay. P pretty pretty good spirits. So I have uh, some idea how, how I would actually spin this, so they will apologize, but... Maybe maybe it's the bigger brother that needs to apologize or something. Need help with anything? What is it? I need to prepare. Farewell. What is it? I need to Your prepare. Your enemies might disagree. I will do no such thing. And will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant dishonors. <sighs> I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around. But instead... It has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him. I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. Future unclear, okay. Oh, I leave leave you him. There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is inconceivable. It would be, if Amila weren't a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. As I said before, an apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. No. You are not my second. I do not see how this is pertinent to your duties. <laughs> so 
show some respect. Show a modicum of respect and answer the questions. Yes. My apologies. You are right. Forgive my ignorance. I, I will answer any questions you have for me. The family name is all we Adlums have left. My parents were great philanthropists. They built schools, parks, temples, monuments. They were two prime citizens of House Varun. Okay. Now everything they have built is gone. And our once great fortune is nearly spent. The money they left us was meant to be used for donations. We were meant to make Dazra a better place. But Amila has sucked the well dry. That's some heavy parents, drinking. Maybe they were not good people. But they were good citizens. And Amila trying to sell their remains was just barbaric. No, great serpent, no. I will take no pleasure in his death. However, I may admittedly feel relief. I will mourn the loss of my brother. The brother he used to be, at least. And I will pray that his restless soul finds comfort with the great serpent. Grotshit! I was by his side for years afterwards supporting him. I was saddened by her passing. And I cannot imagine what Amila went through during that time. But how many years am I expected to take care of him? To smack the bottles from his hand. To pay the bail when he was caught stealing. I have done more for him in ten years than he has ever done for me in our lifetimes. The Koza ruined him. Once he began living at the bottom of a bottle, everything changed. I am just... exhausted by him. It is exhausting to constantly be blamed by him for all of his problems, while always being expected to forgive and help him when he demands. We were never the closest of brothers, as our personalities are just so different. But we were close enough. <laughs> he was a free spirit, which irked my parents. Honestly, I respected him a lot. He was unbreakable, even though the world was not always kind to him. He was funny, kind, and he always was trying to cheer me up, even if I had nothing to be sad about. <laughs> The Amila you know now is not my brother. My brother may as well have died years ago. The Amila walking around today is nothing like what he used to be. An alcohol made from groat milk. Amila is absolutely dependent on it. And his wife was too. The damn stuff rots your brain, I swear. He has always been a troublemaker. But once the Koza took over, he went from bad to worse. Now he is just an addict and a thief. I will be putting him out of his misery. I do not hate him. I do not love him either. And I can no longer tolerate him. I am sure Amila will spin a tale about his hard life. But the truth is that he has always been a miscreant and a troublemaker. But when father moved to strike him, who dove in front of the blows? When mother would not feed him, who sacrificed their food? It was me. It was always me. How does he repay me? He steals my valuables, slanders my name, and brings dishonor on the family. Any affection I had for my brother is long dead. I have done everything, and he has left me with nothing. 
He comes begging for money, so I gave it to him. Then he comes begging for my items to pawn, so I sacrifice them. And then he comes screaming to me that I hate him, that I have done nothing to help him. All of this for a decade now. I would lay by his side every night praying that he would not choke on his own vomit. But in the mornings when I would throw away his bottles of Goza, he would fight me like a monster. I used to take such pride in giving to the community and in using my privileged position to help the less fortunate in the city. But I can no longer do that, as Amila has taken nearly every cent from me. I have sacrificed my entire purpose for living in the hopes that Amila would get better. And he never does. Not at all. I have served my time in the military. Amila's condition made him unfit for service. He may put up a good fight, but I will surely be the victor. Right. I take no pleasure in this. But after today, what he did, he needs to be dealt with. If that is all, you may take your leave. Hmm. Okay, okay, so now we can talk to the Amila last time. Hmm. So I clicked this more personal questions about the game. Make it quick, please. Okay, so we have already asked these questions, so. Ah, look who it is. I will not waste your time. The answer is... Why are you so sure that I... Yes, yes I have. I am ready to fight and... Perhaps Borhal was depending on me being a coward. Perhaps he did not truly believe this duel would go on. Unfortunately for him, I am no coward. Okay. I'm trying to keep strong, but I fear I may be losing my mind. So, it, so what do you want? So they can't actually make up in this phase. So it's it's going to be co continuing towards the duel. Much to do. How did you fare? Oh, well, <laughs> not very well. Stubborn and insane. As predicted, they have been blinded by scorn for one another. But you may still have a chance to halt any bloodshed. Listen to me very carefully. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelists will imbibe prior to the duel. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. Borhal and Amila will be too weak to fight after drinking this. Okay, that this works. This duel is idiotic. We both know it. It is a needless loss of life during a crisis where there is already so much death. And the victor will rue his actions for the remainder of his life. You have one final chance to stop this. You are placing both of their lives into our hands. This responsibility is not fair. What is unfair about saving two lives? That would be tantamount to murder. Yeah. I theoretically, <laughs> theoretically. Be safe. Very good. Report to me when you are finished. May the Great Serpent aid us. Uh, okay. Do not let Amila break you down. How are you handling everything? I really 
just want to be left alone. What? Back to whatever it is you're supposed to do, huh? Drink less both. I cannot wait to be rid of him. Is everything ready? Then it is time to begin the duel. Yes, finally. I am ready to do what must be done. The time has come. Amila, are you sufficiently prepared? I am ready. It is time. <sighs> Nothing we can do now but observe and hope for the best. Yep, here goes nothing. your health, brother. And may the great serpent have mercy on your soul, Amila. Okay, they are drinking it. Done to me, Amila. I am affected as well, dear brother. I, I did not do this. I can hardly see you in front of me. Observe it. Talk to the brothers. Uh, what the hell is this? What did you do? What is this? Uh, sabotage? This duel was an asinine idea, Borhal. We put a stop to it. There is no use for needless bloodshed at times like these. We must come together, not kill one another. You traitorous. You betray me, and then you lecture me. Oh, enough of your grousing, Borhal. Your precious duel can wait. Or are you truly so determined to kill me? Enough of your taunting. This is not over. I am counting on that. Remove yourselves. We must rest. But know that you have only delayed the inevitable. Well, sometimes it actually helps. Thank the Great Serpent. You did it. The Tranquilizer worked and you saved them both. Thank you for trusting me. <laughs> this, that, that, that wasn't a happy ending of it. Nonsense. Exit. You've made the right choice. Their egos are bruised, but deep down they are both relieved. Yeah, nobody need to, needed may, to die. We have narrowly avoided a bloodbath today. If they are stupid enough to try again, we will find another way to stop it. But I doubt that day will come. Probably it's going to be. Me too. I want to thank you. You trusted me and because of you, the brothers, my friends, are both alive. They are imbeciles, but better people than they seem. I am grateful for you. Please take this. 
It is admittedly not much compared to what you would have received if one of them had perished, but... Can you truly put a price on a human life? You are free to go. May the Great Serpent be with you. Always. Okay, I suppose kids have been like a... In the playing hide and seek. For us some time now. We could go and try to find them. Things I would do if I had power like that. Hopefully the soldiers are all out on missions or patrols and not gone. 